I came alongside the congregation at St Catherine's Argyll a few months after they'd experienced a split and I came to work with those who had chosen to remain within the Church of Scotland and I can say that's been a hugely positive experience uh, for myself but I think also for them as a congregation to be able to really question uh, why they exist, what their purpose is, what God's called them to do in this place at this time and to really look at that and work that out and try together as a family of God's people to work towards reaching out with the good news of Jesus into their local parish and local community. Uh, it's been tough in lots of ways, it's a smaller group of people um, but I think what's impressed me has been just their real heart to pull together, to support one another and to have this outward looking vision knowing that they've got something that's really special that they can share with the folk in the community and that they're determined to do that. So together we've been uh, trying to find different ways of connecting with uh, folk in the parish and we've been enjoying just welcoming different people along to our services, uh, folks from the community in on a Wednesday evening to tell us a little bit about their role in the community, local councillor, school teachers, just to help us understand what's happening round about us here in the Grange. And uh, just now in June we cel celebrated really a year of God's goodness and faithfulness to us as a congregation and had a lovely service of thanksgiving where different people just talked about how they'd experienced the year and some of the blessings that God had given to them and one of the things in particular that came out was this sort of fresh discovery of people's gifts and their ability to use them in worship and pastoral care in very practical ways around the church and just in pulling together as a congregation so we're looking forward. We know that uh, we're not the only congregation that's been in this situation. There may be others who find themselves in this situation. But I think the message that we've discovered is that God is absolutely faithful and that you can depend on him, trust in him. And perhaps the key thing is really to seek his will in terms of going forward. You can't rush forward. You have to wait on him and rebuilding takes time and to believe that if you invest the time and the effort, the patience, seeking his will, then he'll reveal that to you and lead you forward. That's certainly what we've discovered here at St Catherine's Argyle.